So far we have only been dealing with the convergence of a series and not discussing the series itself. So now let's consider a special series, the power series. A power series is a series of the form 0 to infinity a n by x minus c all to the power of n. Where a n represents the coefficient of the nth term, c is a constant and x varies about c. Note unlike the other series seen so far, the power series is a function of x. Hence, as the power series is a function of x, it may converge for some values of x and not for others. The radius of convergence, denoted or, is a value for which the series will converge if the absolute value of x minus c is less than or, and diverge if the absolute value of x minus c is greater than or. The interval containing the x values for which the series converges is called the interval of convergence and is given by i equals the interval from c minus or to c plus or. The radius of convergence for a power series can be calculated by considering the ratio test. Recall that if the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a n plus 1 divided by a n is less than 1, then the series is convergent. Thus we will use this fact to derive an expression of the form the absolute value x minus c is less than or, hence determining or and subsequently the interval of convergence. So let's find the radius and interval of convergence for the series x plus 5 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of n. So first of all, a n equals x plus 5 to the power of n all over 2n, and thus a n plus 1 equals x plus 5 to the power of n plus 1 all over 2 to the n plus 1. So a n plus 1 divided by a n equals x plus 5 to the power of n plus 1 all over 2 to the n plus 1 all divided by x plus 5 to the power of n all divided by 2 to the n or rewriting this we have x plus 5 to the power of n by x plus 5 to the power of 1 all divided by 2 to the n by 2 to the power of 1 now dividing by x plus 5 to the power of n over 2 to the n, so multiplying by 2 to the n, all over x plus 5 to the n. And here we can see 2 to the n and x plus 5 to the n cancel, and we're simply left with x plus 5 all over 2. So the limit, as n goes to infinity, of a n plus 1 over a n, equals the limit as n goes to infinity, the absolute value of x plus 5 all over 2, simply the absolute value of x plus 5 divided by 2. And for this to be convergent, we need it to be less than 1. So we have the absolute value of x plus 5 is less than 2 by 1, so less than 2. So that means that or equals 2 and that c equals minus 5. And the interval of convergence i is given by c minus or up to c plus or minus 5 minus 2 minus 5 plus 2 simply minus 7 to minus 3.